Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about management of CIN that is cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. So we have so far discussed what is CIN and what are the techniques of diagnosing and screening that thing. Now we are going forward for management. So how, how we want to manage the CIN? We just want to get read of that TZ tissue okay along with proper biopsy so what we want to need here is we want to just remove that squamous columnar junction the tissue around squamous columnar junction and then examine them under biopsy HP examination so there are two different methods to remove the CIN tissue that is SCJ or TZ transition zone the first are the ablative techniques and then there comes the excision what is ablation ablation means destruction of tissue using cryo freezing either or either laser so what we are doing here we are just for example this is the tissue and this is the abnormal tissue we are seeing here so with ablative procedures we will just crush these tissues that's it while the excision method that means we will by the excision method means we will cut that tissue and take those part for HP examination okay both techniques have their respective advantages and disadvantages now let's further first discuss about the ablative methods the ablative methods are cryosurgery and co2 laser what is cryosurgery cryosurgery the name cryo means very very low temperature at minus 20 to minus 30 this temperature can be achieved by n2 so what it will do it will just crystallize the cells and once they crystallize the cell they are destructed they destroys tz up to 6 to 8 mm from the surface for example this is the tissue 6 to 8 mm tissue amount of tissue can be destructed okay now <clears throat> with the co2 laser we do destruction of the cells or destruction of the tissues by using the laser okay so uh, there are some complication with the cryosurgery these are cervical stenosis in future and vaginal discharge can be there but with the co2 laser there is no vaginal discharge so co2 laser is a preferable method for ablative methods okay ablative procedures co2 laser is preferred so now once we have able done the ablation of the tissue then we just want to confirm that entire abnormal tissue or entire neoplastic tissue is removed or not but we don't have a hp examination possibility in ablative methods because we don't get the tissues we catch which can be examined under microscope so what we should do we should visually confirm that that the tz the entire tz should be removed and no evidence of further invasion so all these things the ablative methods are not the very good methods but they are easy to perform okay and with less complications that's why they are sometimes preferred now now comes to the excisional excision matlab the excisional methods in this methods what we do is we just cut that tissue and take out the tissue and we send for the examination what is this the methods for example lip lip large loop excision 
of transmit transformation zone loop electro excisional procedure so the full form of leads or leap are shown here you need to remember those full forms and again if the family cycle is complete if we don't need uterus any further it's better to go for hysterectomy because there are chances of further uh, further of carcinoma cervix in CIN already sometimes we cannot remove the old tissue sometimes some tissue some abnormal tissues remained and they can further go for CS cervix so it's very better to go for hysterectomy if if the family cycle is completed and you just get rid of all the tensions of developing carcinoma in future now what to do in lip it is a large part of tz that can be removed and block with the help of this electrosurgical loop so this is a wired loop and we can just take out the end block material it's a very useful method now let's take about uh, let's think about what is the management of cin on their types for example cia1 that means that only superficial layer of tissue is involved and this kind of cin has a very low chance of developing cs cervix in future so, and and even on CIN2 so CIN1 has chances of developing into CIN2 within two years is very less so what we do we go for observation only and how we do observation with the help of pep smear but if we found that that is a CIN2 and CIN3 then we should go for excisional method that is leap and repeating pep smear in future recurrent cin3 is an indication for hysterectomy as i have told you how we follow up this patients of cin after treatment so cin1 have 13 percent of risk of developing cin2 at 24 months that means two years so what we do is we just monitor or we do screening test repeatedly that is once once we found cin1 we do a core testing what is core testing a pep smear and hpv testing after one year of doing giving the treatment okay see we give we give the treatment or diagnose the cin after one year what you need to do is pep smear plus hpv okay if it comes negative then routine screening is established and what is routine screening it's by one year then by two year and then comes to every three year okay if any finding comes for positive we should go for cryotherapy in case of cin1 okay so this was the management of cin thank you